Is this a new Virtuous Pie? Or is it um, it's been out for a couple years, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you tried most of the menu? No, I always get the same thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. I tried to. I've tried the Super Fungi and the Ultraviolet. But and you're just an Ultraviolet? I got the Buffalo Cauliflower Wing Pizza. After dinner, we are now attending a eating disorder recovery community support group, which is something I've never done before. I've struggled with my eating disorder, which yes, still lingers and exists, even though I've gotten over a really significant hump of it, uh, you know, versus the, the trough I was in at my lowest point. But I've never gone to like a formal meeting like this. I've had a few therapy sessions. I've talked to friends who share these struggles. I've, I've talked to them extensively about it, but I've never been to like a public meeting and Sophia is leading it tonight and that's really exciting and I can't wait to go and just be open and share and I'm just gonna like open my heart to as much love and honesty that I can and we'll see what happens it's great people coming together and sharing with love the most high carb friendly fruit amazing banana and ice cream friendly house I've stayed in all trip. I'm so grateful to indulge in these yellow goddesses tomorrow. <laughs> Time to clean my tattoo so I can show the family and uh, so I can see it. I love looking at new tattoos. Oh man, this is some like deep level stuff that I haven't really shared in the vlog and I'm obviously not gonna share too much just out of privacy for my loved ones and friends. But today was an uncanny cosmic magical reminder of how universally connected our world is and just cosmic literally pure magic so here's kind of the chain of events that have unfolded that i've pieced together remember maybe two days ago i called my brother and i talked to the vlog about how important it is to rem to remember to call up and reignite the friendships, relationships, or open communication, comfortable, open sharing communication with your loved ones. Because once in a while you can have a friend that you forget about and you stop calling them or catching up and then they fade away from your life. And that can be sad because maybe that relationship could have been nurtured a little bit more and you can learn from each other and love each other and have a good relationship. And that's really important. And I kind of checked myself to remember that I have to do that. So I called my brother and had a long talk and it was one of the most beautiful talks we've had in a while. And I haven't talked about that on my YouTube channel all the time, right? It's not like that's a common theme that I discuss, like call the people you love. But I talked about that two days ago in the vlog. And then today, a very, very special and important friend of mine. In fact, my best friend in the world, by far my brother, growing up, he was like my brother, um, called me today and we've had a total just, you know, our, our history, not to give too much away, is we were literally as tight as possible from like six years old into middle school and then due to some substance abuse issues, our friendship faded away um, and that made me really sad and of course probably him really sad too, but um, 
due to that, he was kind of emotionally and friendship-wise unavailable because of the unfortunate, um, you know, prison he was in with addiction, essentially. He wasn't in actual prison, but um, I mean, just being in such a, you know, addictive behavior to substances, and he went through rehab and had some struggles with being sober, and essentially many years later, probably, it's probably been close to 10 years since we've had a tight relationship. Yeah, about 10 years. He called me today, and we had a conversation that years ago I accepted and I thought I would never have with this individual ever again. I thought we were done. I was okay with it. It was just non-attachment and getting into other communities and building other friends, but always I think about him after all these years. Will it ever get reignited because of what we shared growing up and we've grown so different and apart, but today I got the pure confidence based on how he communicated to me that it was time to reignite the relationship and give it a try and be brothers and best friends again. And I was 100% open with my heart saying, I am ready to let you back. I want to cultivate that love. You're important to me. I love you. I love you. I love you. Even though throughout the years we haven't been in each other's life and for all the crazy stuff you've done, I love you and I believe in you because you're my brother. And it almost, it almost brought me to tears. I almost cried. I'm just not a crier. I'm an emotional dude. I like to be transparent and share, but it was one of the most beautiful things that's happened to me in a really long time. So I'm so excited about that. And how crazy is it that I was just talking about that the other day, and then he gives me a call, and we have this reigniting connection. And then I'm staying with someone who invites me to a eating disorder recovery meeting that kind of follows an AA 12 step style. It's, it's exactly that. It's Eating Disorders Anonymous. I've never been there, but that's like kind of a homage or a respect to my friend being the bigger person and making his amends who's gone through this program and I go to my first meeting. It's like, how does this all manifest at this one moment? And that's because we're all one. All energy is connected. When you feed a certain energy, everything around you can, can move in that vibration. And it's, it gives me so much faith and validation that leading with love will bring more love into your life. Like you gotta manifest the reality that you want. That's what this whole channel is about. It's not just about being vegan or living adventurously. It's about manifesting your dream extreme reality of the life you know you want to live, which is to be loved, to give love, to have energy, and hopefully to not harm others. And that's just what I try to do day by day and inspire you to do it too. And I am just like recharged by universal cosmic uh, acceptance and understanding and appreciation. If you liked this little rant, by the way, this is the style, like I needed to share this to the whole public vlog because this was such a big day for me in so many ways and, and just being here finally in Vancouver. I need to tomorrow do like an actual debrief of like what it's like to get here after 55 days of cycling from Alaska, just like a debrief of things from the trip. I need to make that video. But this kind of talk is what I share on my Patreon page. So I just wanna give it a little shout out because tomorrow um, I, well, the other day I posted on my Patreon feed, which if you pledge a dollar or more per month on my feed, one, it supports me to be able to travel like this. So that's the one reason. If you like my vlogs, even though they're free, it would really, really, uh, I would really, really appreciate it if you want me to keep doing this so I can keep fueling uh, pretty much myself to eat. You know how cheap I try to live because I don't make too much money, but I want to keep this going because the vlogs and this lifestyle is just so amazing to me. Um, and I appreciate everyone that has pledged to Patreon. There's so many of you, over a hundred. I think it's like 160 people at this point have pledged. Most people just a dollar, a dollar a month, literally $12 a year. And that's like the biggest form of income I have right now to be able to fuel me. And you can see all the money I make, it's all public. Um, 
but those are the kind of videos that I post to my Patreon feed, um, kind of like I've been talking here. I just talk to the camera about something deeper and share certain topics, and you can comment on the Patreon feed and literally say, hey Jackson, make a video about this, and I will make a video about that and post it on the Patreon feed that only the Patreon people can see if you pledge anything up from $1 or more per month pretty good bargain and if and I just wanted to let you guys know about that because I know I get a lot of new viewers and that is one way you can get more content from me and have a more intimate relationship with asking me questions and I'll answer anything from any patron in the patreon feed and you get access to it with a dollar more per month okay much love dream extreme